Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Truth Hurts. I'm Andrew, the love doctor, and I specialize in breakups, with creeping, lying, and cheating in relationships. Today, I'm going to discuss red flag number 11, when the rebound contacts you. I have heard many stories throughout the years of how the person, their significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, were cheating with contacted them either at home or on their jobs to tell them off. The nerve of some people, a jump off telling off the permanent boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse. In my case, I, the fiance, was texted by a jump off to be told she's in good hands. When I called Lilith, to find out where my wife-to-be was at when she wasn't at home. Expert from the newest relationship book. Once again, here we go again, this time with the narcissist. Now, while I was conversing with the officer, lo and behold, who do I see? Tyrone. Tyrones are bad boys that women are attracted to. That's either fucking or going to fuck your girlfriend, wife. I said, you see, officer, remember me telling you why I locked the door? Because she may bring her new man to the house to do something to me. I pointed to the dude and said, well, there he is. So you into beating up women now, Tyrone says. If that was true, your ass be next. Who you think you talking to while stepping towards me, trying to intimidate me? You can't be that stupid. I'm talking to you as I step towards him. You see, in situations like this, in situations like this, that either gets a person hurt or killed. Created by some trifling person that claimed to love you. You must understand when a rebound contacts you means your significant other was talking bad about you to them. When your significant other is not talking to you, they are talking about you. When they are talking about you, they slandered your name to various people. Slander means any false statements that causes a person to have a bad opinion of someone. That's what they did to you. When this occurs, this is what West Indians say. Their eyes pass you. This means you were talked about so badly that the person is listening don't respect you without even knowing you. In relationships, Communication eliminates so many problems. While it's not always easy, all you have to do is open up your mouth and say what you need to say. The problem is, trifling people always communicate with the wrong person. They will converse with a person that doesn't love them instead of the person they're with that loves them. That's how you know they don't love you. Red flag. Love doesn't put strangers in front of life's partners. All of this occurs because of the 80-20 factor. This factor is when people believe they are missing out on something in a relationship and regard everything, disregard everything else. Normally, Sex is the common denominator. Red flag. When a rebound contacts you and alerts you to infidelity, this time, don't run. Walk away. As you walk away, your significant other will desperately attempt, at this point, to reestablish communication with you. Too much, too late for that. Do not listen. 
one more time because I really want you to understand this. Do not listen. Don't even look at them. It hurts them more when you do this. Remember, narcissists hate to be ignored. Show them that you are not stupid anymore. Because the moment you start listening, you become stupid. The correct spelling for stupid in this case will be S-T-O-O-P-I-D. You can't utilize the correct spelling because this will be a, compl in a uh, compliment. You don't have to say anything more because you already won. You know rebounds never work. You know the rebound will not be as affectionate as you were because all they wanted was sex. Now that they got it and, it, and their affection will stop the moment they get bored with the sex. Most men like a variety, so it's just a matter of time before they leave. The reality is, and don't let anybody tell you different, the best sex the back, arching, mind, numbing, toe, curling, hair, pulling, rake, back, raking sex can only last 45 minutes tops. Now, there are 24 hours in a day. What are they going to do for the rest of the 23 hours and 15 minutes that are left? Will they be able to talk to the person without getting a headache? No. Will they be able to stand being around this person any length of time? No. Will they bring this individual around their families at holiday events? No. Are they going to pay the bills like you did? No. Are they going to be faithful? No. Are they going to love and take care of them like you did? No. Are they going to put up with the disrespect like you did? No. Normally, when people cheat, it's usually for sex. Normally, when people leave, they leave for better. How can they leave for better if they already started the relationship with infidelity? It's just a matter of time before infidelity cycle begins again with them. This is your vengeance by doing nothing. You were so good to them that they will never find anyone as good as you were to them. They will be seeking the same qualities you have in other people, and other people will always fall short of your qualities because they are not you. If they do find someone with your qualities, trust me, it will be no time soon. Red flag, if someone cheats on you, walk away. Don't run. There's no need to run at that point.